If there's ever been a guy on a mission, it's me, comedian and cooking fanatic Sal Governale. Each week, I travel around with just my toaster oven, showing people how to make big meals in small places. Hey, it's Sal Governale from Big Meals, Small Places, and I'm here with... Sal Governale. That's me. Who, who are you? I'm Sal Governale. What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Mike Machetti. And you know what? Sometimes, Mike, it's a little bit too hot to cook in the kitchen. So we took the toaster oven outside to make fall off the bone barbecue spare ribs in under two hours. You ready to eat? I'm starving, Sal. This is going to be amazing. What a shocker. Right now in this toaster oven, I'm going to make fall off the bone ribs, not five, six, seven hours, no smokers, no slow and low garbage. An hour and 40 minutes, I promise you, to fall off the bone, Mike. For the fall off what my d falls off. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, no, Mike. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Just let's focus on the food. <laughs> All right, so here's the trick. You don't need to slow roast it for four, five, six hours. You don't need to, need to do any of that. In order for your ribs to get nice and tender for the meat and, the, and all the uh, ligaments to loosen up, pineapple juice or anything that contains citrus. It could be orange juice, pineapple juice. You could even mix it with a little bit of... Um, oh, that looks good. With mango, a little pear. As long as you have the citrus juice, the citrus will soak into the meat and it will loosen up all of the fibers within the meat. It smells good, Sam. My, my nose is opening up. So you put the pineapple juice in here, and then when you cook it, the pineapple juice, Mike, soaks into the meat. I can smell it, Sal. It's, it's rising through. Fantastic. So here's the deal. Pineapple juice, we got the first part done. Now, Mike, I'd like you to put a little pepper on the, right, uh, the ribs. Uh, tell me if I go overboard. Yeah, we'll just take a look and do it. Okay. You like pepper, Mike? Uh, not really. Okay, so put as much as you can on there. Mike, you're sweating over a pepper mill. I know, Sal. You really need... All right, that's good. Okay. All right. Now, from there, we're going to add a little salt. So we have salt and pepper on the ribs. Nice. It's soaking in the pineapple juice. And from there, Mike, we're going to add chili powder. Oh, no. It's not that hot. Don't worry. It's okay. not as hot as you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you like chili powder? I hate spicy s***, Sal. Oh, wonderful. Nobody sells stuff like Mike Rochetti. You, you, you make a great sous chef. All right, so now we have the chili powder, the salt and the pepper on one side. This is the bone side, which by the way, peel the membrane off. If you don't peel the membrane off, you're not gonna get the flavor. Right, Mike? No, not at all. Okay, now look, I'm gonna add a little chili powder on this side. Just give it a good sprinkle. I mean, this is not rocket science. Right, Mike? It looks like Picasso. Right, who was Picasso? He, was, uh, 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 he wasn't as good as Michelangelo, but he was later on in life. Then a little salt. Right, on both sides. And now, Mike, add the pepper. Just try not to you know, ah, pull a okay, muscle so. in your back. Yeah! <laughs> Look at this go, right, Sal. Take it easy. Sorry, it's I'm not a broad, well. it's a pepper mill. <laughs> okay. All right, so from there, we have the pineapple juice, the salt, the pepper, and the chili. Easy, right? Now, Mike, the tin foil. Just take the tin foil. We put it on three pieces of tin foil. Take it. Make a nice pouch nice. out of it. That's it. Look, look. Look at this. Nice, clean, simple. Nothing to it. It looks like we're putting someone's head in a... <laughs> I love this. Yeah, thing. it looks like your head. Like if, it would, like if you were a tin man, <laughs> it would look like Mike's head. From there, goes into the toaster oven at 350 for an hour and 45 minutes. That long? That's it. Don't worry, you can have a Twinkie in between. Okay. So, after an hour and 45 minutes, we'll be back, and what we'll do is we'll baste it with barbecue sauce, and we'll broil it for five minutes. So basically, under two hours, we're gonna have fall off the ribs. We're gonna have fall off the spare ribs. We're gonna have fall Me off the bone. Spare ribs, yeah! <laughs> oh God, oh God. The ribs are ready, Sally, yeah, yeah. What's that? The ribs are ready. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Take a look at that, Whoa. Mike. Does that look great? Sure, that, is my, my, that is like the 16 Chapel. I, I agree. This. Okay, now what we're gonna do, Mike, take our barbecue sauce, take your favorite barbecue sauce, and just put it on top. Oh. So look, so what we're doing is we're basting these ribs right now with barbecue sauce, and then we're gonna broil them. They're gonna fall off the bone. The bone, okay. All right, so we basted it in with barbecue sauce, and we're gonna leave it open. And this time, we're gonna go to broil, okay? And we're gonna go to 500 on broil. Okay. And we're gonna go for five minutes, okay? 
Now leave your ribs open. Why, Mike? Why do we leave the ribs open when we broil? We want them to fall off the bone. No, we want them to get nice and crispy oh, okay. on top. All right, look at us, Mike. Oh, Jesus. It's been broiling for five minutes. So now, we'll take the ribs. Just go underneath it with the knife. Look at this, watch this. All right, oops. That's how tender they are. It's almost impossible to do this. And there you go. Toaster oven barbecue spare ribs off the bone. Atta girl, way to go, you son of a <laughs> ah, you <laughs> idiot. You <laughs> ruptured my spleen. Ready, Mike? Chow, that looks good. Can you? Yeah, watch. Looks so good. So what I'm gonna do here is you have to find where the meat is. Look at that. Look at that, how tender that is. Enjoy. I'm gonna have one myself. Mm. Take ah. a look at this. Look, see, see the meat? Look, look, look at the, look, look at this bone. Look at this bone, it's falling off the bone. It is. Look how clean mm. the bone is. That's the key. This is like, I feel like King Henry VIII. This yeah. is awesome. As you can see, the rib, the meat, all right, give me that. Falls Something. right off the bone. Look how clean that bone is. That's how you want your spare ribs. It was done in an hour and 45 minutes. Never mind that nonsense with the cookers and the smokers and we have to go to Alabama and everything else. An hour and 45 minutes in your toaster oven, you'll have full of the bone, beautiful spare ribs. Pineapple juice. Made with love. So good. Is the key. Enjoy everybody.